Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Once again, I'm Reverend Ron L. Spratley of Covenant of Grace Ministries. We've been in our series, Taking Dominion Through Spiritual and Natural Laws of Leverage. We've been talking about 10 spiritual laws for taking dominion. Today, in 9D, we're going to talk about natural resource management. And in, in law number nine, we've been talking about the laws of biblical economics. We talked about production must come before consumption. We talked about wisdom as a form of capital. We talk about economic hierarchies. And today we're going to use the scripture to establish natural resources management. Genesis 1 and 26, and God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have what? dominion control over the fish of the sea, all right, and over the fowl of the air and over the cow and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. We're just going to classify this dominion over natural resources. Genesis 2, 15 and 17, and the Lord God took the man and put him where in the garden, the Garden of Eden, where all the resources were, what was his job? To dress it and to keep it. And the Lord commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but the tree of knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it, for in that day thou eateth thereof, thou shalt surely die. So I consider this one of the first covenants in the Bible, okay? Yahweh put Adam in the Garden of Eden. He put him in there. So the garden was a gift. Adam didn't create the garden, but that was his assignment. The garden was filled with every possible resource that Adam would ever need. Adam's job was to maintain and cultivate the garden, be fruitful, multiply, and replenish. Adam has control over enormous natural resources. This is his wealth. Can Adam follow instructions from the owner, Yahweh? Let's look at our key principle. Adam, man, has a fiduciary responsibility with Yahweh. The relationship of trust. God is the owner of all the earth. Land is an inheritance, a gift from God. The loss of land is a curse. The restoration of land is a blessing. We see this pattern all throughout the Old Testament. Land is, is the foundation for wealth creation. We need to understand the importance, natural resource management, and land. You came here for the truth. I've unveiled that for you. May God bless you and keep you till we have another opportunity to bring you another word. God bless you, my friend.